Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. And this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So in the reverse, this does show someone who isn't putting in effort to make something work. Um, this is someone who isn't showing up. This is someone who is distracted. They're not taking responsibility. And there's just this energy of really not giving much to a situation. Not giving time, not giving energy, and especially not putting in that noticeable, tangible effort. Um, there is this feeling here of someone who is potentially checked out with this card being in the reverse. There's a lack of commitment or dedication to something. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the sun in the reverse, Leo energy. We have the, the judgment card in the reverse, Scorpio energy. And we also have the page of pentacles in the reverse, um, earth energy. Yeah, there's a heavy energy here of not giving to something. It's it's almost like you've lost interest in something. Your feelings for something are gone. Like something doesn't give you that excitement anymore or that motivation to want to give to it, to pour into it. Uh, with the sun card being in the reverse, there's an acknowledgement that there's a genuine lack of happiness in this situation. And, you know, there's almost this feeling of, if this is you, if this could be you, this could be the person you're dealing with. But it's like this person has recognize that something isn't fulfilling them anymore but they they haven't vocalized it you know it's like i'm not gonna tell you i'll just show you that i'm not really invested anymore so there's this feeling of so showing someone through your actions that you're not committed to them um you know not doing the things that you used to do not being passionate not being expressive it literally looks like someone has shut down you know, because with the page of pentacles, that's an energy of someone who's going the extra mile. That's someone who's putting in effort, wanting to make something work, wanting to put their best foot forward. It's someone who's showing up as conscientious and considerate. But in the reverse, we're seeing someone who's lazy, someone who doesn't see something as worth it, something who, someone who's not taking responsibility. So there's definitely a standstill here. You know, there's a feeling here of giving up on something. And um, we, we, again, we have the judgment in the reverse. So it's like, you're not even, you're not even telling this person that you're, you're, you're done. You know, there's this feeling of not giving someone clarity, not expressing what's going on, just checking out, you know, just leaving or just not trying anymore. You know, it's like someone has literally become dead weight. And the judgment card being in the reverse does show that there's, potentially an ending here. Um, this could be a situation where um, it was a start and stop type of situation. And um, there is this feeling of being at a, a point in this connection where we're kind of deciding whether we're going to give things a second chance, whether we're going to move forward with this connection or not. And um, it does look like someone here is choosing to not move forward. Someone is choosing not to give this another chance with the judgment card in the reverse. But again, the judgment card is also a card of making a judgment call, making a decision. And it looks like this person is taking a more passive approach because they're not making it known that they don't want to move forward with this connection. Instead, they're just not trying, like almost like they want to put the responsibility of ending something on the other party. You know, they are looking at the situation as if I just stop trying, then the other person will also give up. You know, it's it's like there's a lack of clarity, but the actions are really speaking quite loud in this situation. So let's clarify these cards, Sagittarius. Okay, 
Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So there's a heavy desire to be single. You know, the Nine of Pentacles is someone who feels like they're better off on their own, someone who feels like they don't need a partner. They feel good, they feel confident, and they feel like they can rely on themselves. They're self-sufficient, they're viewing themselves as a prize, they have this heavy self-worth and um, self-esteem to the point where they are enjoying their singlehood you know this is someone who's not ready to to commit to something unless it really sparks something in them so you may be feeling disconnected from someone and ready to you know just be in the sign of pentacles energy um it does look like you, there's this take it or leave it type of energy okay so let's see okay we have the two of swords air energy the hanged man in the reverse pisces energy and the two of pentacles earth energy yeah this is actually a very painful energy for the person on the receiving end of this loss of interest because it does look like someone has genuinely lost interest but they're not communicating it and it's really hurting the other party because the other party feels like they have been kind of left hanging they've been left on the hook um their partner has let them down you know they've been abandoned essentially and um they feel like it's up to them to kind of release themselves like they have to be their own executor in the situation um and with the hanged man being in the reverse there is that feeling of cutting oneself loose, you know, freeing oneself from the situation, kind of taking the hint and deciding to move on. And it's it's difficult because this person is unsure because nothing was really made clear or communicated. The Two of Pentacles shows that it's hard for this person to to leave because they they could have seen a future here but it's like i can't work with this person. They're not trying, you know, and someone here is having to kind of accept something for what it is based on face value you know there is this feeling of um going back and forth about whether it's time to let go or not but with the hanged man in the reverse and the judgment card in the reverse it does look like there's this feeling of accepting an ending without a lot of words you know there's someone is making it difficult to reach them they're making it difficult to communicate with them they've just shut down they've created a lot of blocks in communication and another party here is just having to take the hint and accept that something is done you know they it's difficult but it does look like there's an energy of passing ways okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you sagittarius Okay, we have confidence is your key to success new moon in leo okay so there is also a message here about if you are resonating with this person who has lost interest in this person or this situation um you know being expressive could actually benefit you in the situation it does look like there's this lack of clarity and this hurts more than if you had just vocalized you know the the loss of interest or the desire to be single um but if you're dealing with someone who's doing this to you there is also a message here of um doing what's best for you you know if a it, it matters how a person makes you feel there is this feeling of not staying in a situation where the other person isn't pulling their weight so they're not meeting you halfway and it does require confidence you know self-trust okay so and also recognizing that you are the prize Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, Sagittarius. Okay, we have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So there's again a message about communicating expressing your truth um this is regardless of which side you are here there is this feeling of calling someone out or bringing a topic up so that there is that clarity and you know even if you don't get a response no response is also a response there's just this feeling of um being true to yourself you know not bottling things in here okay so i'm gonna pull out another card for you sagittarius
okay we have false indigo immersion and intuition when you reach the end of what you should know you will be at the beginning of what you should sense so this does look like a delicate situation that does require a lot of inner trust especially trust in one's intuition because this is a situation where your feelings and the vibes that you're getting from this person are really going to tell you a lot because it does look like there is an energy of someone shutting down and not opening up and um, intuitively you can sense that something's off so there is a message of really not in ignoring this intuition the worst thing you could do is to ignore and continue in a bad situation okay so i'm gonna pull out um a card for your advice sagittarius We have surrender and healthy relationships. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. So there's definitely that, that energy here of recognizing, is this person available? Um, is this situation serving you? You know, really just removing these kinds of situations from your space um, and knowing that you deserve better, you know, regardless of which side you're on, you deserve better than staying in an unfulfilling or unhealthy relationship. You know, they, there is a message here of really doing what's best for you. There could be a lot of um, confusion or uncertainty and even trust issues with the Two of Swords. Like, um, you know, there's this feeling of should I stay or should I go? Can I trust my judgments when it comes to the situation? Um, there is a message here of letting go of what no longer serves you. You'll know, you know, based on that, like looking at the situation, especially trusting your intuition and your guts. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Sagittarius. I hope you have a really, really good day, Sagittarius. Bye, Sagittarius.